Okay, welcome back to Magic Hat Tutorials. And let's get our, go ahead and get our virtual box open so we can get right into it. Alright, so I do have a, a couple things I promised you guys. I need to go ahead and get out of the way today, which I will do from previous tutorials. Putting up here. Now, I tend to mumble sometimes. It's just me talking to myself. It's not anything important for you to hear necessarily. Um, I try to make absolutely sure that I speak up at the important parts that you need to know. Okay, here's old test dummy. Let's put in his password. Let me in one, two, three. Nice and simple for a little. Uh, test machine here, virtual machine. Let it finish booting up. Here we go. And we see our clock and all is still not here yet, so we're going to give it just a minute. Here it comes. Okay, so let's see if it's uh, alert now and adjusting to window size. There we go. So now I know we can go ahead to full screen mode and we'll be off and running. There. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and organize those icons because they goof up. So we were going over um, our terminals last time and I'm going to continue on that as promised. But first I want to get just a couple of quick things out of the way. Um, we had spoke about installing the AOD game that's like Age of Empires and I told you I'd give you a peek at it so I'm gonna do that real quick and hopefully it, it will run it enough so that you can see it from the virtual machine here probably should have done this in a regular one and I'll just show you what one looks like it's just like AOD you see here's test dummy here's a AI bot and I can say, oh, put me on team one, put him on team two, so I have an enemy. And I can say, oh, I'm going to be a uh, Spartans. And I'm going to make him Gauls. And I can do revealed maps, make it a skirmish. Um, all maps. And what map do we want? Oh, we can pick a good two-person map. There we go. Okay, um, what else? Um, players, unlimited, resources, very high. Disable spies. We don't want spies. Spies are mean. Okay. <laughs> All right. Back to the map. Okay, good. Now, we accidentally bumped this out of the way, so. We're Spartans. I think they're Gauls, and we're on team one. And now, putting what number team decides where on the map you're going to land. I'm just kind of doing it quickly and randomly right now so you can see what it looks like. So we'll hit start game. And you see the little progress bar going here. And, and instead of wasting resources on showing the little guys building stuff. Like uh, the original Age of Empires does. And here we go. Alright, so. And you got your... Looks like I have some warriors here. Yeah. So you left click to select the guys. I just kind of draw a box around them and then right click where you want them to go. Okay. Just like Age of Empires, man. So like, and these are the, the common builders and I can tell them, okay, go build a house over here. And they'll go build a house. Just like Age of Empires. Okay. So anyway, this isn't about gaming. This is about our Linux. I just wanted to show you that real quick because I promised you. Um, if you enjoy it, you, I figured you'd really enjoy playing this game. I know I do. Always liked Age of Empires. One of my favorites. One of my favorite classics. Okay. So now we have that closed. We're back to our, our desktop. So I promised you last time we were going to do some additional tweaks to our terminals 
make it look really cool. So let's do that. We're going to start by installing uh, another software package. We'll go to System, Administration, and Synoptic Package Manager. And of course it needs our password. Let me in. One, two, three. Okay. All right, now we're going to go straight to the search and we're going to type in Viglet. Enter. And we're going to do the searching there. Like a little red team, blue team circle goes around. There we go. And oh, it comes installed by default. How nice, I'd forgotten that. So we won't need to install it. It's already installed. The box is already grayed out. So that's good. Now, what is Figlet? Well, Figlet does this really cool thing. I'm going to show you. So we open up our terminal. And our terminal looks kind of plain right now. I mean, we do have that cool background. And we do have that cool transparency. But we can do more. We can do better than this. So let's see what Figlet does. I don't think I have to sudo for this. Figlet and put this in quotations. This is Figlet. Boom. That's what Figlet does. Okay, so wouldn't it be cool to have something like that at the top of our terminal when we start up? Clear. Enter. Clear that up. So let's do that. And I'm going to use the terminal in, in a minute, so I'm not going to close it, but I'm going to have to tell you uh, or show you where we're going to, okay? Um, I don't want to show you just in a terminal so you understand more 3D in your mind what you're doing in the terminal. Uh, I'm not just going to give you a bunch of commands. I want you to actually learn this. So if I go into the folders, I'm going to show you where we're going to be going. Uh, hmm. I don't want it to do that. I want it to open in, um, different windows. Open each folder in its own window. There we go. All right. Um, did you see how I did that? I'm sorry. Edit any open folder window. Just hit, click on edit. Oops. Edit. There we go. Then preferences. You go to behavior. This is where we changed it to single click everywhere. What I didn't check additional I usually do is open each folder in its own window. And it's especially going to make things easier while we're doing this tutorial so you can see where we're going. So I'm basically just on the whole hard drive right now. Okay, if where our terminal normally opens is in the user folder, which is under home. See home here. If we open that, then we have test. That's test dummies. See, and there's test dummies area. That's his desktop, his documents, his downloads, everything. Okay. So let's open it, reopen it, see if it works like we want it to now. There we go. That, whoops. That's what I wanted it to do. Even if we have to close some windows we don't want, I would rather... There we go. All right, so we're in the main directory or on the hard drive, all right? And what we need to find now is we're going to customize a, a special file, all right? And I'm going to show you where we're going to specialize, uh, customize that file. So if you go to Home and you go to Test, now you can't see it in here, okay? But if we go to our terminal, now we're already in Test's home directory because that's where it opens, all right? So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at all the files in there, including the hidden files. Now, if you remember from a previous tutorial, that command is ls hyphen a. All right, there we go. All right, so do you see the one that says dot bash rc? It's right here. Okay, so what we're gonna do with that one is we're going to edit it. Now, we can't do this as a user. We have to do this as a root user. So, sudo nano dot bash rc, okay, and enter. Need test dummy's password, let me in, one, two, three. And here we go, now we're in the, the folder. Now, if I hadn't logged in as, as sudo or root uh, to look at this 
uh, file, I wouldn't be able to edit the file at all. It would have written in red here. It would tell you that you can't edit it. It would say, warning, the file cannot be edited or something like that. But we want to be able to edit it. Okay, so we're going to go all the way down to the bottom. Here we go. And hit enter one time, make a little space. And we're just going to type Figlet to activate the program itself. And then, just like we did in the terminal window, in the quotations. Let's see, what do we want it to say? Um, how about hack? We'll see if I can do it like, um, like this uh, one here. I like that. Do that in more cases for something different. Now I hit Control X. That little sign there means the control key, okay? So Control X. And yes, I want I want to save. And yes, that's I want it to keep the name it has. So I hit enter. Alright, so now here's the cool thing. I'm gonna close the terminal. Let's reopen it. Look at that. Now it's got our little moniker there at the top. Isn't that cool? And you can put whatever you want up there. Okay. So let's uh, let's try it again. I'm, I'm hitting the up arrow. And I can go through commands that I already typed in there. See. Without having to type them again. It's another shortcut that you can use in, in your terminals. So I brought up that command. I want to open that file back up. Remember, I'm already in that directory. That's where the terminal opens in my user directory. So I hit enter. Put old test dummy's password. Let me in. One, two, three. All right. And let's go back down to the bottom there. And let's see. Let's put something else on. Let's put in. Um, oh, goodness. I don't know. Um, Let's do Epic Portal, maybe? Nah, <laughs> too corny. Um, well, why not? Corny's fun. It's all for fun anyway. So, Control X, yes, or Y for yes, and then Enter to accept the changes. And now, again, let me close the terminal, reopen it. Look at that. Now we have the epic portal. Now there's all kinds of additional changes you can do here. Um, and that includes, I'm sorry, I'm getting, getting a message guys on my phone. And it's kind of interrupted. I apologize for that. So give me one moment. And I will silence it. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay. So anyway. Well, I'm doing the live recordings. What can I say? But uh, anyway, we have uh, we a lot of other tweaks we can do this to. You can change the colors. You can actually use different fonts. Um, you can look up Figlet, and uh, maybe we'll go over that more in depth later on. Um, some of this stuff, I even though it's related to this, I put off later, and I'm going to tell you the reason why. Because we're not quite to that point of our use of the terminal yet. I'm trying to ease you into it so everything makes sense. Okay? But that's a cool, easy little uh, tweak that you can make there. Um, and uh, hopefully now you understand by going through here and all exactly what you're doing. Um, the bash RC is basically the bash control file for this user. Um, so since we edited our personal bash RC file, it will only do that for us. If you have a system with multiple users, that won't happen on their terminals. Okay, and I can open up the mate terminal now too, and see it's, it's got it too. And it's using its own color coding. And if I open up the Terminator, there it is, see, isn't that cool? So, that's any bash shell that I open, it's gonna give me that, all right? So that's pretty neat. Alright, so that's all for today. I don't want to go into a whole bunch of stuff. I'm trying to keep these short and sweet now. 
from this point on and uh, the first two or three tutorials we had to have they were a bit long um, because we had uh, some long procedures we had to do but from this point on they should be pretty smooth all right so thank you and come join us again have a good one